Lane's law, as I told you just now, Lane's law is used to determine the directions of the current, right? Okay. But if you read this Lane's law, you will find that uh, it's quite hard to understand. Huh? Okay. Lane's law states that the induced current always flows in the direction that opposes the change in magnetic flux. So what does this mean? Huh? There is a solenoid and there's a magnet. Let's draw the magnet first. This is this is the north pole, eh? This is the south pole. Okay. Can any of you tell me the direction of the pole? Uh, so the directions of the field. It come out from the south pole to the north pole, or it come out from the north pole and move into the south pole. North to south or south to north? North to south. Yes, that's correct. So the field is north to south, eh? So you see, we have one magnetic field, eh? That is the magnetic field of the magnet. It's a bar, right? Bar magnet, eh? And then let's say we have a solenoid. We have a solenoid here connected to a galvanometer. Now, when this magnet is inserted into the solenoid, current will flow in the solenoid. Uh, that is called induced current, right? Electromagnetic induction. Huh? When there is a current flow inside this solenoid, then there is another magnetic field will be produced, right? Because uh, we, we learned that when there's a current flow, there's a magnetic field, right? Magnetic field cut by the solenoid, current flow, and it will produce another magnetic field. Then the question is, when the current flow, which directions the current will flow? It will flow this way, or it will flow this way. So which direction you flow? Okay, now according to Lin's, Lins is a scientist, eh? okay? Lins says that the current will flow in such directions that, so that the magnetic field generated, you see, there's a magnetic field generated by the solenoid, eh? When there's a current flow, there's a magnetic field, eh? So this magnetic field generated will oppose, it will oppose the magnetic field, or oppose the motions, oppose the motions of... Uh, this bar magnet or oppose the change of the magnetic flux how to oppose okay now if this is a north pole you try to insert the north pole into the solenoid yeah? then this end will become the north pole and we know that north pole and north pole it will repel right so when you insert this uh, the current will flow to produce a north pole here and after it produces a north pole <coughs> the north pole will repel this bar magnet eh? uh, or, or we say we oppose the change of the magnetic flux uh, so that is what does it mean by uh, what is stated in Lane's law Lane's law say that the current will flow to produce the magnetic field to oppose this the motions of this eh? okay uh, so means that if this is north pole you push it inside okay you push it inside this will become north pole to oppose eh? Then how about if you pull it out? If you pull it out, uh, what happened? So if you pull this out, uh, you pull the North Pole out, then this end here, this end here, it also want to oppose. How to oppose? It will become the South Pole, okay? And we know that North Pole and South Pole, it will attract or repel. It will attract, right? Yes, that's correct. So the solenoid will produce a South pole here. It will produce a south pole here to attract this uh, bar magnet so that uh, this one is not allowed to come out. Or it, it tries to oppose. Huh? So when you push it in, it will try to oppose to push you out. And when you try to pull this magnet out, then it will try to produce an opposite pole to pull you in. So it always oppose the motions, okay, oppose the motions that try to generate uh, the current. So that is what does it mean by Lane's law. Eh? So North Pole push in, it will become a North Pole to push you out. North Pole pull out, it become a South Pole to pull you back. So Lane's law states that the induced currents, so the directions of the currents, eh, will flow in the direction that oppose the change in the magnetic flux. So that is uh, Lane's law. Eh?